in last class we learned about slope of a straight line when theta is the inclination of a straight line then tan theta is called slope of that straight line that point we learned in last class in case if a straight line passes through two points x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 then slope of that straight line is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 in this class we are going to derive this result first we will consider a straight line which is having inclination theta and passes through the points x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 i'll draw a diagram for this to understand this more clearly you observe here i considered a straight line whose inclination is theta and passes through two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 i considered a straight line whose inclination is theta and passes through the points x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 now i need to prove that slope of this straight line is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 first point as this straight line inclination is theta this straight line inclination is theta we can write slope of this straight line from the definition of slope of straight line if theta is the inclination of a straight line then slope of straight line slope of a straight line is denoted by m m equal to tan theta this we know from the definition of slope of a straight line okay now you observe the diagram as this point is x1 comma y1 the perpendicular distance from point to y axis is x1 this length is x1 the perpendicular distance from point to x axis is y1 as you consider this point as x1 y1 this length is x1 this length is y1 similarly as you consider this point as x2 comma y2 this length is x2 and this length is y2 okay now i'll name this x1 y1 as a x2 y2 as b now you draw ac which is parallel to x axis draw ac which is parallel to x axis now you observe this line ac and x axis they are parallel if they are parallel this straight line acts as a transversal we know in a transversal corresponding angles are equal that means if this angle is theta then what is this angle this angle is also theta now in triangle abc you observe this triangle abc in triangle abc i'll try to find what is tan theta okay you observe this triangle abc this is right angled at c so uh, this one is hypotenuse ab is hypotenuse bc is opposite side ac is adjacent side tan theta formula opposite side by adjacent side opposite side is what opposite to theta what is that that is bc divided by adjacent side what is adjacent side that is ac now from figure we need to identify what is bc what is ac you observe the diagram from the diagram you try to identify what is bc you see this length is y1 please observe here this length is y1 so this length is also y1 and what is this full length this full length is y2 because we consider b as x2 y2 na so this full length is what this full length is y2 this smaller part is y1 so what is bc you can easily understand bc is this full length is y2 na y2 minus y1 bc is y2 minus y1 that you can observe easily from the diagram now i want ac from the diagram what is ac you see this length is ac actually what is this length this length is x1 this full length is what this full length is x2 here this full length is also x2 as this length is x2 this length is also x2 and this length is x1 as i need ac ac means i want this part i want this part ac what is ac ac is x2 minus x1 from the diagram so ac is x2 minus x1 so here what is bc what is bc bc is y2 minus y1 divided by ac what is ac ac is x2 minus x1 actually what we got here from this diagram we got tan theta what is theta in this diagram you see here theta is the inclination theta is the inclination you see here slope of straight line is tan theta 
So finally, I'll conclude here. What we got? We got that as theta is the inclination of given line, slope of a line equal to tan theta because theta is the inclination. As the line is passes through two points x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2, we came to know that tan theta is nothing but y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So slope of a straight line equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. You need to observe two points here about slope. First thing, when theta is the inclination of a straight line, then tan theta is the slope of a straight line. Second point, if a straight line passes through two points x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2, then that slope of the straight line is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Now we will try to understand these things with two smaller examples. Find the slope of a line passing through two points 1 comma 4 and 3 comma 2. What is the slope of a line formula? The formula is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. You take any point as x1, y1, any point as x2, y2, it's your choice. Generally, we'll take first point as x1, y1, second point as x2, y2. Substitute in this formula y2 minus y1, y2. What is y2? 2 minus y1, y1 is 4 divided by x2 minus x1. That is 3 minus x1 is 1. 2 minus 4. 2 minus 4 is minus 2 divided by 3 minus 1 is 2. That equal to minus 1. So what you came to know? You came to know that slope of a straight line passing through two points 1 comma 4 and 3 comma 2 is minus 1. Till now we learn two formulas to find slope of a straight line. Now I'll write another example also. You see here find the slope of a straight line whose inclination is 60 degrees. Find the slope of a line whose inclination is 60 degrees. Slope of a straight line m equal to here in this problem we know inclination of a straight line. When we know inclination then we will write its formula slope of a straight line is tan 60 degrees. What is tan 60 degrees value? From trigonometry table we know that tan 60 degrees value is root 3. So slope of a straight line whose inclination is 60 degrees is root 3. In next class we will learn the conditions when two lines are parallel then how their slopes are. When two lines are perpendicular then how their slopes are. Those things we will discuss in the next class.